Hey, it's Doug Lazy. If you watch The Voice, you already know who this is. If you don't watch The Voice, you're like, Doug, she looks really familiar. Um, she might be your neighbor. She's one of us. She's Sacramento's own Katie Ray. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Thank you for having me. We're so excited to catch up with you. I know your life is going like a million miles a minute right now. I was talking to you, saw pictures from like golf and Sun Splash and your son and everything. And I was like, she really is from here. She's on TV. I am. <laughs> yeah. I love it. So congrats. We're super proud of you. Are you proud of you? I am proud of me. I'm not going to lie. You know, this is uh, something that I never would have expect expected out of myself. Um, if anybody that knew me growing up knows that I was super shy to sing in front of people. And so um, I think as I as I got older, I got to know myself a little bit better. Um, you know, I started putting myself out there and like now look at myself. I mean, look at me right now. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm pretty proud. <laughs> I love it. That's so awesome. Thank How you. did your journey to the voice start? Like, where did you audition? Because you're from here. So like, there's a lot of people in Sacramento who say, maybe that maybe I could do what Katie Ray's right? doing right now. So yeah, how did um, honestly, you? the first time I ever tried out was actually in San Francisco, um, what before COVID happened, you know, um, and I got past the first round and um, I didn't make it past the second round, but I was really, really, really excited um, because I learned a lot in the process and I did, didn't even expect to make it past the first round, to be honest. So um, instead of it letting it you know, deter me from being, you know, trying again, it just actually fueled my fire and I just kept going. And every time I made it a little bit further, I tried out four times before I actually made it um, onto The Voice. This Once uh, COVID hit, um, things were a little bit different. You didn't go and like try out with a bunch of people and wait in line. So that was kind of easier for me. Um, you do like a, a submission over the phone. Um, and, you know, I heard back in a couple months later and that I was going and, you know, here I am now. So I mean, I say just keep pushing, keep trying. If you, if you know, if you don't make it one time, like, I mean, what's, what is it going to hurt to try again? I mean, look at me now. So. I love it. That is so awesome. So you're from yeah. here. Have you performed here locally in any venues in Sacramento or around town? So not in Sacramento. No. Um, I actually was in a band with my brother-in-law, um, for a little bit, right before I, uh, while I was pregnant and before I was pregnant, um, and we were in like a disco funk band and it was a, uh, we, we did some stuff out in Davis. Um, that's where most of them were from, but nothing in Sacramento. So I'm really, really looking forward to uh, getting together with my band. We have a, we have a, a, some stuff we're working on and uh, getting out in Sacramento when I get back. It'd be nice. I love it. We got to have you out here. All right. Spoiler alert. If you have it on DVR, we're going <laughs> to, you're going to fill us in right now on what's happening with you on the voice because there were head-to-head -head battles and then mm -hmm. Team Ariana, Team Kelly. Tell us what's mm -hmm. happening with you. Yeah, so um, I had my knockouts this last Monday. I went against Raquel and Raquel Trinidad. She's amazing, one of my teammates. And uh, I, I did lose my battle, but I got stolen from Kelly and I am still in the top 20. So, you know, now I'm on Team Kelly. I'm super grateful for her and I'm just ready to get this. I'm excited for my next song. And I'm um, just working really hard and, you know, um, hopefully I can make Sacramento proud. Oh, you already have. You already have. <laughs> What's it like to have Kelly Clarkson, who is like the, the very first person ever to win a reality singing contest, shower you with compliments. She's in love with you. It's crazy. I mean, it feels like an out-of-body experience, if I'm going to lie. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. You know, I grew up watching Kelly. You know, she was, I mean, I'm, I'm a little bit older than the rest of the people here. And so she was like, honestly, kind of, I was even more nervous to talk to her than I was talking to Ariana because, you know, I just like idolized her growing up. So it's so cool. She's so chill. She's really easy to talk to and work with. So I'm just really grateful to be, you know, in this still and that she even like sees anything in me. She's been a, a fan of mine from the beginning. So it's a, it's, it's really cool. That's, that's like the best. So now that uh, you're not on Ariana's team anymore, you could tell us, like, really, who's the nicer coach, Kelly or Ariana? I mean, they're both so nice. Very different. Like, Kelly is uh, is a little bit more like me. Like, we're kind of, uh, we're just talkative people, and so we just vibe really quickly. But honestly, Ariana is so sweet. She's so caring, and she still reaches out to me to this day. So, I mean, Man. like, it's it's really, really cool, you know? Um, when we when we sing, um, you know, when she sees us on, on the show, she'll reach out to us and say, you know, you did a great job and whatnot. And so she's seriously just so, so cool and so kind. So both of them, I can't, I can't say anything bad. <laughs> 
Wow, that's amazing. So, like, when they become your coach, do you get, like, this, like, kind of friendship with them? Do they say, like, here's my cell phone number. Call me anytime. No, Is it, no, like- no. It's not quite like that. Um, honestly, um, we were all a little bit surprised on team Ariana that she reached out to us. If I'm going to, if I'm going to be honest. So, um, that was surprising. We don't, I don't have Kelly's phone number, but I have talked to her before. Um, and, uh, yeah, they are very involved. It's really cool. Um, you, you, you don't expect, you're like, am I, am I really talking to Kelly Clarkson or Ariana? Like what's happening? <laughs> you know, Funny. um, they're real people and they, they really do act like it. So it's really cool. I love it. That is so awesome. Any yeah. like juicy behind the scenes gossip, like anything that you saw, you're like, I didn't know this was happening. I can't wait to tell everybody. <laughs> no, honestly, the juice is, is that we all get along so well. Like that's super crazy. Like we are like family here. I'm not going to lie. Like there's so much love, so much support. Like people are like, why are you so happy about them? Like winning this battle? You know, like I'm really happy that my friend it, Raquel is still in it. Same with B- Bella. It's nice to like, still see these people that we've gone through like we've been here for months you know just without our family and without our family so these people become our family so it's it's really really cool you'll when we're not lying when we say we're friends (laughs) that is so good to hear because maybe it's because everyone's there and everyone's doing exactly what they want to do what they love doing you know Mm -hmm. so definitely it's nice you don't have very many like there's never very many times in my life where i've been around people and you can be in a group and everybody's just so, so, so into music the way that I am, you know? And so that was actually one thing we were kind of talking about yesterday. We were all at the park and it was just like, wow, this is so cool. How many times in our life are we going to be able to do this? So yeah, it was oh, really nice. I love it. All right. Let's say just hypothetical, throwing it out there. It's all over tomorrow. What has been your best memory from this whole experience so far? Like I said, the friendships, I'm not going to lie. I mean, not just the friendships, the friendships, but also I feel like I am. Um, I found myself, I feel like I, I lost that sense of like, a, I can't do this. I used to have kind of like this uh, imposter syndrome and I feel like I finally have believed in myself. And I feel like that's the biggest thing that I've gotten out of this is like, I'm, I'm believing in myself and I feel like I can do this and I can, I can make a, a living for myself in, a, in this music industry if I, if I wanted to and if I could put my, um, you know, my, my work ethic and just get out there and get after it, so. I love it. And so that, that's not going to happen. It's not going to be over tomorrow. But no, yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> yes, you're going to take it all the way. You're going to get the win for Sacramento. What are you most looking forward to when you do win The Voice? Honestly, working with just some amazing artists and um, learning, just learning more and more. Um, I've been le- I've been learning way too much. It's like I'm it's overloaded. You know, I'm, I'm getting overloaded with way too much, but it's awesome. And I just want to keep learning and growing. And uh, I would be very happy to see my family again. I'm not going to lie. That's the, that's the hardest thing is just being away from them. So, you know. Uh, yeah. What do you hope people take away from seeing your journey uh, on The Voice? Like we, we know your backstory, you know, you're mm-hmm. from here. If people are watching you and following you, what do you hope that they take away from your story? Um, just to be vulnerable and not be afraid to talk to people. If you're not, if you're not feeling good um, in your life, if you're, you know, there's, I feel like there's more people out there than you would even imagine is going through something that you're going through. And um, if you reach out, like you never know who you can help. I feel like that's kind of one of the best things that I've taken out of this is that being vulnerable was hard on t- national television telling my story. But I've been, um, I, I can't believe how many people have reached out to me and have told me that my story has helped them or, you know, make them feel a little bit less crazy in their life or whatnot when they're going through this. So um, I just, you know, I feel like that is probably one of the best things that people can take out of my story. Um, Yeah. Ah, I love that. How can people connect (laughs) with you on the web? Um, I'm on Instagram and TikTok. I've done one TikTok. I'm getting better at it, but um, it's uh, Katie, Katie underscore Ray 333 um, on both of them. So that's awesome. We're going to, we're going to totally support you. You know, we, you have all of us behind you, your whole hometown. <laughs> Thank you. When can we start voting for you on The Voice? Um, this next week. So 11-8 um, is when we're going to be um, aired for uh, the top 20. We're going to be singing our songs live and uh, get out there, get on the, on the NBC Voice app. That's how you're going to vote. And uh, hopefully, hopefully we can bring it home for Sacramento, everybody. I love it. November 8th, you guys, the voice airs Mondays and Tuesdays, 8 p.m. on KCRA 3. Oh my gosh, I got, this is like a spam call calling in. Oh no. (laughs) Car warranty, I'm I'm sure. So the voice airs Mondays and Tuesdays, 8 p.m. KCRA 3. You got to vote for our girl, Katie Ray from Sacramento. Katie, thank you so much. Thank you. It was nice to talk to you. Absolutely. We'll see you when you win, okay? All right. Thanks, man. Bye. Bye.